Well, happy Easter Sunday to all of you watching us. Thank you so much for joining us back here. Start things off at the Pikes Peak Summit House right now. Beautiful shot over Colorado Springs. A little chilly up there, though, but hardly a cloud in the sky. Just a few wispy clouds moving across the area. Going to stay relatively dry over the next few days. However, with these dry conditions, very low humidities, we do have that fire weather warning for much of southern Colorado. Keep in mind, this has been extended until Monday night at 8 p.m. And notice it's been extended down into the southeastern corners of the state as well. So very, very dry and windy conditions is what we're anticipating. As for temperatures right now, 72 in Colorado Springs, 76 in Pueblo right now, pushing the 80s in Lamar, 81 degrees right now, 78 in La Junta, even the high terrain well into the 40s and 60s, quite a range there. Lows tonight staying very mellow right into that high 30 to early 40 degree mark, 38 in Colorado Springs this evening, 39 in Walsenburg, 20s and 30s in the high terrain and staying in the 40s in the La Junta and Lamar. So some very, very nice and mild weather tonight. So to start out your work week, looking at clear skies to start the day off, we'll see a few wispy clouds move through as the winds kick up right around noon tomorrow. Again, very similar to what we saw today. And with those winds, do keep in mind that that fire danger is just going to increase over the next few days. So a rather calm sky cast, hardly anything really going on, no moisture to speak of. As for your temperatures tomorrow, check these out. Well into the 70s, 77 here in Puerto Pueblo 71 in Colorado Springs, 50s and 60s in the high terrain, 80s in eastern Colorado. Taking you a little further in the future right now, Tuesday. Here's where things get a little bit interesting for us. So we'll start the day out on Tuesday. Fairly calm. We'll see a few clouds moving across eastern Colorado. And you know these streaks right here. Those are a very, very strong indicator that we're going to have some very, very strong winds Tuesday and Wednesday, just enhancing that already high fire danger. Now the next system that's going to be moving in this area of low pressure that we showed you in first weather off of the North Pacific, that's going to continue to track into the region, likely bringing some rain by Thursday. But forecast models have had a hard time anticipating how this is going to play out. But one thing is for sure, definitely going to start to see some moisture move in, thankfully, on Thursday. As for your seven days, 71 degrees to start off your work week. Those temperatures are going to gradually fall down as we get those weak little weather disturbances moving through the state. Likely going to start to see some of that moisture moving in Wednesday night as that area of low pressure tracks in. But the temperatures will start to taper back up or wind back up, I should say, by next weekend. Possibly a dose of showers, though, by Sunday. As for Monday, into Pueblo, 77 temperatures again falling off a little bit into the 60s, a little more seasonable average, but again, kind of take that roller coaster ride right back up. Likely going to see some moisture moving in on Thursday, all due to that North Pacific system that's tracking into the area. As for Canyon City, 75 to start out your work week, mild overnight lows. Even with those temperatures tapering off slightly, we're still going to see overnight lows into the mid to high 30s much of the week. A little bit cooler though Thursday night. Teller County could see some flurries move in late Wednesday night into Thursday as those overnight lows drop below freezing. So again, fire danger is going to be very very bad Monday and Tuesday, possibly even Wednesday as well. Okay, something to keep an eye on. Yep. Again, perfect Easter Sunday. Oh yeah, couldn't ask for a nicer day. All right, Jason, thanks a lot. Josh is here with sports.